in the circles that I run in my daily life, I really haven't worried about it a lot. I know that, you know, my oldest Indian grandmother always told me, wash your hands when you come in the house, wash your hands when you do this, yeah. when you do that. Yeah. Um, if you're sick, don't call phone people. If you're sick, like, for me, it's, it's like, standard, I feel like it's, it's standard, standard operating. Practices, yeah. Yeah. Standard for practices. some people, it's not like, like Timmy and Hoboken will go outside and juggle dog shit and come in and eat pizza rolls. <laughs> Without washing his hands. Without washing anything off of his hands. His mom will Sick be fine it. with it. Yeah, and she was like, Timmy, just sit down. On the, sit down. No plate. Timmy, just sit down. Don't eat out of a plate. Eat it right out the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat Go it right straight. out the bag, Timmy. Don't even warm them shits up. <laughs> <laughs> They're yeah. closing down schools. They're closing down. Yo, bro. I wish we were in college again, fam. <laughs> so you have to have that week off? Extra no, fucking... No, boy. They, schools are canceled extra for the rest spring, of the semester. Extra spring break. No finals. No finals. No oh, that nothing. Would be they're getting ready. I, I know some don't... teachers who are waiting for that also. Oh, like, they're teachers. they're waiting for that early summer shit. Yo, the new little teachers, though. Huh? The new teachers. The new era of teachers. God bless. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Yo, these teachers bad as fuck. Where were these teachers when I was in school? Bro, I had Miss Griggs. She had a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I had Miss Thompson. She had a mustache. <laughs> I had a Miss Thompson with a mustache. Yo, also. what's up? I think all the Miss Thompsons had a mustache. Now they got a Miss Lopez with the yams. Like, school's great. Miss <laughs> Lopez out here looking like an Instagram model. <laughs> right, Miss Lopez. Can I follow you, Miss Lopez? <laughs> I, shit. I think it's, I mean, it's a, you know, a mixture of shit. Like, you should take it seriously. You should take your health seriously. But, you know... You got to do things on a daily basis just to, like, boost your immune system. You got to, like, take your vitamins, eat your vegetables. Yeah. You got to work out. You got to do just, like, regular shit that's going to keep you healthy times where there's not a fucking virus. Because when there's not a virus, with like, you know, it, it's not like a fucking free-for-all. Like, you shouldn't just, yeah, like, walking around, like, licking, like, licking fucking stair- staircase poles or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, you got you to gotta, you gotta take care of yourself. Absolutely. But my biggest thing about this whole entire virus, bro, is mm-hmm. what happens next. Right, there's no vaccines. Uh-huh. Like, there's information coming out about the virus, the symptoms, but like, they're not. I, I haven't heard. Like, how long does it last? If I so, if I had it right now, mm-hmm. what's the next steps? Well, when does it go away? Is it is it the flu? Do I take some antibiotics and I'm good? Like, what what what's up? I think we find that out now. Now that people of you know a certain stature have it. So Tom Hanks and his wife, they have coronavirus. Donovan Mitchell has come on coronavirus. Yo. Rudy Gobert has his 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 touchy feely sneezy ass has coronavirus. I feel like now that people of a certain stature have, <laughs> they're gonna kill have, Rudy, bro. Huh? They gonna kill Rudy and Rudy was just Facts. <laughs> nobody gonna be fucking with Rudy. I feel so bad for Rudy, bro. The way they go, they never, bro. It's like, I mean, it's not his fault. We get that. Fault, we understand man. that it's not his fault. But still, like he's doing the thing. You see the video with him touching the mics after people are asking him about the coronavirus and like fucking around with it. And it's like, I I don't know. I mean, those the thing is, I'm not worried about those guys because they have they have money, they have influence, they have the resources to make right. sure they get the best care. So they're right. going to be fine. So I think when it comes to finding out like if there's a vaccine, if there's a treatment, we're gonna see it through these famous celebrity people because. They're in the spotlight. They're in the spotlight, and they have the access. It's like you know, like you know, Martha with three kids, who like gets a who has the flu and like feels like her Where do you chest get these names tight, from? huh? Where do you get these? Who is Martha? I just pull that shit out the air. <laughs> Martha just seems. <laughs> Yo, do you even know a Martha? I do. I don't know a Martha. Yeah, that name is not existent anymore. That There's a lot of Marthas out there. I've worked with Marthas before. You've worked with a Martha? Every Martha has at least three kids, though. There's no <laughs> Marthas out there just running around kidless. And the thing is, is like, how do you how do you give birth to a child? I always think about these names, right? Martha, how do you bro. give birth to a child like this? Bobby, it's like this baby, just point like baby's cute, beautiful, bald, whatever. You look at it. This is a Martha. This is a Martha. Mm, I love it. You look at your baby like this is a Martha. Yeah, nah. nah. <laughs> you look at your baby like this is an Agnes. Yeah, no. You got like nah. some of these, some of these names. Go, well, I think we're doing better at letting those names go. I I hope so. Those are like World War II names. We yeah, don't need like, those names anymore. <laughs> like you have to hide your baby like names. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm hiding Martha. <laughs> and I'm also gonna hide Agnes as well. <laughs> Bro, it's um I never met a teenage Agnes. I feel like they just never. get hidden in basements and then they just get released when they're like 85. Yeah. That's yeah. it. <laughs> when, Agnes. <laughs> Agnes, where were you? <laughs> when the coronavirus hit. <laughs> <laughs> There's an Agnes right now ducking the coronavirus. There's an Agnes right now in a in an airtight basement with no communications or electronics, and she's gonna like they're gonna let her out in the world when she's like 75, and she's just gonna be 75 year old Agnes. Yes. There was no 21 year old Agnes. No grandkids though. 
Huh? No grandkids? No, she automatically has oh, grandkids. She got, she's just, I got my Timmy. Timmy. She got Timmy. <laughs> she Timmy got with Timmy. the shitty hands and the with pizza the rolls. shitty hands, bro. Ah, oh, man. Agnes and Martha. No, I think you're right. Um, I think it's definitely going to be, we, we're going to be able to see what happens next because we have public figures yep. now with it. So we'll see what happens. I hope it's not one of those things that, yeah, we have public figures with it and they're um, privy to a better care. Than the masses. Well, that's life. That that is life. But I do want to. I also. I don't want just to get that privy care kind of um, mm-hmm. story. I want to get to know like. What Listen, Martha did. those pharmaceutical companies, like the heads, the CEOs, their dicks are hard as rocks right yeah. now with this coronavirus right. shit. Bro, right. it's like it's it's a good time for everybody who's not like it's a good time for everybody that's not sick. That's not sick. Yeah, because if you're sick, what they're just trying to figure out the best way to. Figure out a way to solve this, but then also you they want to make money from it. Like they want to make it a profitable thing. Yeah, and, but um, on the flip side though, our economy is going because Oh, down um, the toilet. Because doo-doo of, trash. You know what I'm saying? Like so it's 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 so interesting because like, yeah, on one side of the spectrum, pharmaceutical sales and medical sales, like everything in the medical side, that's gonna go up. But mm-hmm. like if we're quarantined like New Rochelle is right now, um, who's shopping? I mean, everybody's shopping. I was just in fucking Stop and Shop, and there's, it was nutty. There's it was lines nutty. It out was the nutty. fucking I door. The, I walked into the uh, whatever grocery store. What are you trying? Like, rocks. what do you? I, I need to know what people in, in in these like grocery stores are trying to accomplish right now, or what they think is going to happen. What are you accomplishing by like it's emptying not, not, the toilet paper aisle? It's, I don't know, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's such a weird time. I just don't. Bro, know, I went to I, the grocery store twice this week with my girl. I went. I, like, I, I went the regular. Again? I go once a week. Like, yeah, That's I need, it. I need more meat. I'm like, what? I need more meat. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, yo, you bought like three packs. <laughs> like, what are we doing? How much meat again? do you? How much meat? Do you... <laughs> Shorty, <laughs> let's talk. <laughs> I'm like, yo, Trev. I heard. All I have to say is, yo, Trev. I heard we're shutting down New York City for the next two weeks. You're gonna be like, damn, that's crazy. You're gonna hit your man's. Be like, yo, fam. I heard. Should have shut down. And it's just a game with telephone. Yeah. By the time that hits Twitter, it's like, yo. I heard that New York City would be shut down for two years. No, as I heard, I heard Spike Lee was in the middle of Madison <laughs> Square Garden, like jerking off onto onto fans in the front row and giving them coronavirus. That's what it's going to turn into. And he didn't go through security. And he went. That's what I said. Also, I was thinking like Spike Lee. Now that like shit is shut down, there's no NBA season. He can go into that employee entrance with no problem. There's oh, yeah. no security. It's a breeze. It's a breeze. He's Hold like, on. Ah, the way, the way it should be. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get on that for a second. Yeah, talk to me. There's some, there, there, there are a few things that like Spike Lee should be able to do in in Madison. As, as far as I'm concerned, like Spike Lee could like sacrifice a goat in the at, at mid court at, at half time, half time show, and nobody should have a problem with it. Ah, uh, Spike, epic. Like the disrespect. Yeah. So like such high levels of disrespect. It's, That's why I can't even. And you know what? I told myself like I'm not watching any Knicks games. I'm not fucking with them or anything like that. And then I came home the other night and just like I, it was like habit, just like routine. I click I, on I click on MSG, MSG Network what and I watch sicko. it. I skip over that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I didn't even want. They're like, yo, we got a special. I'm like, yo, don't bundle in MSG with my my TV. It's free though. I'm like, nah. You're keep wild. It, keep it off my TV. What's wrong with you? Why would you do that and to I, yourself? I caught myself watching the game, and then I remembered, oh, shit, I'm not supporting these motherfuckers, and I turned the channel. It's, uh, it's yo, I agree. Um, We just got, it's tough. Let Spike do Spike. Let Spike do whatever the fuck he wants. Just let Did Spike you see that breakdown Spike. of how much money he spends? Over, like, over the past like ten year or thirty years, it's like thirty million dollars. Thirty million dollars, and then it's thirty five hundred dollars a ticket a game. He doesn't even get a fucking discount. He should have bought the Knicks. With all that money, he could have. Ah, uh, dude, Knicks is like Knicks is like worth billions of dollars right he now. Should, he should have. He should. He should have a little piece. I don't want Spike to own the Knicks. I think he should have a piece. I mean, he should invest. I should has a piece of the Cavs. He should have invested. Justin Timberlake has a piece of the Memphis the Grizzlies. Grizzlies. Yeah, he should have so invested Spike in the Knicks. Should have a little piece. I just think he was for for the Knicks thing. It's it's the same thing with every Knicks fan. Like we're fucked up in the head when it comes to the Knicks. Everything else, yeah. everything else in our life, like Spike Lee is a 
world-renowned, legendary fil- filmmaker, family man, never has any drama in his life. Yo, never has no drama. Never has any drama, which is why you should believe 100% of what he says about the situation and not what anybody he tweet, else says. He tweet, he tweet, yeah, he was he tweet, wild. He, he was tweet. like, they're, they're talking about me like I'm like I'm a fucking idiot, like yeah, I'm a tweet. fucking he bozo. Yeah, he tweet. He tweet. And I never seen Spike tweet. You don't. You don't, but you they played with his name. And they and he didn't he didn't fuck with that. He went to go speak to Stephen A. And Stephen A was Stephen A puts a battery in everybody's back. He'll amp you up. Go get him. Go man. get him. He was like, so Spike, so what you're telling me is. And then he nah, went nah, through nah, it. Nah, 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 Spike, come on. Yeah, and Stephen why they have crazy. Yeah, I can't and I can't watch ESPN for the next few days because it's just gonna be Stephen A like reiterating the same shit every fucking day. And I fuck with him. But it's gonna be the same shit every fucking day right now bro, with no basketball. No, no hoops. Cancel it all, bro. Cancel everything. No NCAA tournament. How you feel? That hurts too. That hurts a lot. Bro, cancel 2020, fam. There's no March Madness. That, There's no brackets. There's no upsets. There's no Cinderella stories. There's no Is there game even gonna be shots. an NBA draft? They ooh. They might have they might have to do that shit through Skype. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on, bro? They gotta do the NBA draft over Skype. You can't have people in First the arena. First round pick through Skype. That's sick. Of. <laughs> First round pick. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be flee I'm, I'm flee on the on the Skype joint. You on your couch in your mom's crib? Like flee, first drip. First round pick. You no stand socks. up.